In this video, I will show you how to create paper text or title text animation like this in Adobe Premiere Pro. And throughout the process, we will learn some of the most essential techniques like using track mats, animating text, doing color correction, and adding stop motion effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. And as always, you can download the assets used in this video from the link provided in the description. So go get it and follow along with this lesson. And that being said, without any further delay, let's dive right into it. Okay, we are on the home screen of Premiere Pro. So let's start with creating a new project. So click on the new project button. Now name the project, select your file location, and click on create. Okay, now let's import the assets that we would need for this animation. For that, double click on this project panel, browse the files, select it and click on open. So in this assets, we have one GIF file of a paper opening animation, then a Premiere Pro logo and a paper texture image. So let's bring in the GIF file on the timeline. For that, you can click and drag and drop it. And now the paper texture image file and place it after the GIF. Okay, now let's start with animating the paper texture. So select the image file, go to the effects control panel and first we are going to scale it up by 200%. And now move the playhead at the start of this footage. Let's add a keyframe on the position property. Select the position property to hold it and drag it from the preview panel itself. Now we will jump on to next three frame. The shortcut key is the right arrow key. Again, we are going to move it to a random position. And like this, we are going to do it for around a second or two. So we are basically recreating the wiggle expression or the result of the wiggle expression, which we get in After Effects. And while moving the image, you have to make sure that whole image is covering the entire scene or the entire frame. Okay, after you have animated this position property for a second or two, just Cut the clip with the razor tool. The shortcut key is C and here in the toolbar, this is the razor tool. And we're gonna delete the extra portion and select this footage, press and hold the Alt key and click and drag to duplicate it. And like this, we are gonna duplicate it multiple times for a few seconds to extend the overall footage in the timeline. And now we're going to nest this whole sequence, only the image portion part. So select it, right click on it, Go to nest and we have to name the nest sequence. Now, if we preview it, we can see that the paper texture is moving too fast and a bit smooth. We want a stop motion feel in this animation. For that, we are going to apply an effect. Go to the effects panel and search in posterize time. And we are going to apply this effect. For that, we have to select the layer and then double click on it. And from the posterize time, you can control the frame rate of the animation. Right now, it's at 24 FPS. We are going to decrease it to 6. Now it's looking even better. And now it's time to do some color correction. So add an adjustment layer. For that, go to the project panel, click on new item button and click on adjustment layer. You have to select the width and height of the resolution. I'm going to keep it as it is and press OK. And now apply an effect called tint. So for that, search it here in the effects panel. And now bring in the adjustment layer on top of this whole sequence. Select the adjustment layer and apply tint on this adjustment layer. In the effects control panel, the tint effect is applied. From map black to, we can select the color of the shadows. And from map white to, we can select the color of the highlights. So we're going to pick the color theme of the Premiere Pro logo. Okay, now let's see how to animate text in Adobe Premiere Pro. For that, let's select the text tool. This is the text tool in Premiere Pro. Select it and click on the preview panel and type in the text. Now here in the effects control panel, you get all the properties for the text and you can get the same options here in the essential graphics panel as well. So we're going to keep the font style as it is. If you want, you can even vary the font style in the text. For that, you have to select that particular word or the face and then change the font style. And now we're going to select the entire text. First, change it to center aligned, then all caps then align it with the preview panel. So align horizontally and then vertically and scale it up by about 340 and now move it up a little bit in the Y axis. Maybe 880 would be okay. Now we're going to duplicate this text layer one more time. So for that, we can press and hold the Alt key and click and drag it above to add a layer above this layer as well. After that, we can adjust the Y axis position from the essential graphics panel and update the text. This time, I want to keep the title word in regular font. 
Again, follow the similar process of aligning it with the center. Okay, now let's start with the animation. So select one text layer, go to the FX control panel and add a keyframe on source text under the text property. Now we're going to jump on to next three frame and we're going to remove the entire text and only keep the first two letters. So we're not going to delete it. We are just going to cut it. So control plus X to cut the text and go to the previous frame and only keep the first letter of this entire sentence. Now, if we scroll through the timeline, you can see the text is animating after the keyframe. And that is what we are going to do. We are going to add some typing effect. And now from the second keyframe, we are going to jump on to next three frame. So the shortcut key to move forward is the right arrow key. And to move backward, it's left arrow key. Okay, now let's move on to the next three keyframe. And we're going to paste the entire text. Only keep the first three letters. And we're going to repeat this process for the entire text layer. And in the similar process, we can animate the second text layer. And now let's properly time the animation so that the second text layer starts animating after the first text layer. And now we're going to extend the entire footage of the text layers to match the other footages in the timeline. Now let's apply roughen edges on the text layers. So select one text layer, go to the FX panel and search in roughen edges and apply it. In the roughen edges, border value 15, sharpness 4, and scale about 120. Copy this roughen edges effect, so for the select and Ctrl plus C to copy and paste it in the second text layer. And the roughen edges is applied with the similar settings. And now we will add paper texture on the text layer, and for that we will use track mats. So move the text layers a layer above. So let's duplicate the paper texture animation and place one below the first text layer and one below the second text layer. And let's apply track mat key on this paper texture animation layer. So go to effects and search in track mats and apply track mats key. In the effects control panel, change mat to the video that we want to use as a, as a mat. In this case, the text is on video 4. So we're going to select video 4 over here. And after that, we're going to change the blending mode under the opacity. So let's change the blending mode to screen. And now let's copy this track mat key effect. So select and control plus C and paste it on the second duplicate. And this time the mat would be video six because this text layer is on video layer six. And now we're going to change the blending mode to screen again. Now we have properly added the paper texture animation inside the text layer. And now it's time to animate the Premiere Pro logo. But before that, we will duplicate this paper GIF animation and place it above the text layers. And the Premiere Pro logo should start animating after the text. So from somewhere around here. And after that, we are going to bring in the Premiere Pro logo inside the timeline. So simply click and drag and drop. And now we will rescale the Premiere Pro logo to fit it on the entire preview panel. So scale it up. Now we will apply track mat key on the GIF layer. And this time mat to video 8 because the Premiere Pro logo is on video 8 layer. Now we will move the playhead to the last frame of this GIF file and cut the last frame. So we can use the razor tool and we are also going to cut the Premiere Pro logo footage as well. So select the last frame of the GIF file, right click on it and convert it into a hold frame. For that, click on add frame hold. So now this last frame is converted into a still image and now we can drag it and match the length with the other footages in the timeline. And now let's convert these two layers into nested sequence. Now we will apply tint effect on this layer and change map black to and map white to with the Premiere Pro logo color. And now we can rescale and reposition this logo from the scale and the position property in the effects control panel. And under opacity, let's change the blending mode to overlay. And with this, we got the paper texture on the logo as well. And now it's time to do the final color correction. For that, we're going to drag and drop this adjustment layer again in the timeline. And this time we are going to apply an effect called RGB curves. In the effects control panel, in the master section, we're going to give it an S curve to increase the overall contrast of the frame. And finally, we're going to add some noise. So for that, type in noise in the FX panel and apply noise HLS auto. Here in the FX control panel, lightness to 
and saturation to 2%. And this is how it finally turns out. Alright, so that is it for this video. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.